Did you know that the war in Ukraine shifted the European Union's focus entirely towards Brazil? It might sound strange, but I'll explain how these things are connected in a simple way. When the conflict erupted in Eastern Europe, several things changed, and one of them was about the energy people use. The European Union relied on gas from Russia to function, but the war complicated this situation. Unlike Brazil, they don't use much renewable energy. Natural gas is a major source of their energy. It helps factories operate and keeps homes warm, especially in winter. However, here's the issue. A significant amount of this natural gas comes from Russia. More than a quarter of all the gas in the world comes from there. And Russia is the largest seller of this gas to other countries. In 2020, Europe bought a lot of Russian gas, nearly 70% of all Russia's sales. Yet, during the war, Russia decided to cut back on selling gas to Europe. This caused the price of gas to skyrocket, and Europe became concerned about its economy. They needed to find a new way to secure energy quickly. This is where green hydrogen, also known as the fuel of the future or green gold, comes into play. It's clean and powerful energy, much better than other sources we use for energy. However, there's a catch, it's expensive to produce. Nonetheless, leaders of countries like Germany chose to invest in this energy because it's crucial for the planet. Green hydrogen is made from an element called hydrogen. Hydrogen is the most common element in the universe, but it's usually bound to other things, like water. To use hydrogen as energy, we need the purest form, called H2. Just so you understand, 1 kilo of hydrogen has more energy than 2.1 kilos of natural gas or 2.8 kilos of gasoline. The issue is that we often use polluting substances to make green hydrogen, like natural gas or oil. However, we can also produce it in better ways, like using solar and wind energy. There are various methods to make green hydrogen, but the important thing is that it's a cleaner way to have energy. So, circling back to the war in Ukraine and the energy crisis in Europe, this is where Brazil comes in. Because of the cleaner methods to produce green hydrogen, Brazil can contribute to generating this energy for the world. There are three main types of hydrogen, gray, blue, and green. One, gray hydrogen, it's produced from processes using natural gas or coal, but this releases carbon into the atmosphere, which is harmful to the environment. 2. Blue hydrogen, it also starts with natural gas or coal, but here they capture CO2, which is bad for the environment, and store it, preventing it from entering the air. It's a cleaner form, but still has carbon emissions. 3. Green hydrogen, this is the best type. It's produced without emitting carbon. The way they do this is different. They use electrolysis, which is using electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. The electricity used comes from clean sources like solar or wind energy. This makes it truly clean energy. Green hydrogen is incredibly versatile. It can be used to generate electricity, serve as fuel for cars, and even play a role in essential chemicals like green ammonia, which finds applications ranging from steel mills to cleaning products. Now, let's delve into the race to embrace green hydrogen more extensively. For a long time, producing green hydrogen was expensive, so not much investment was made in it. However, when the conflict arose in Ukraine, Western economies attempted to limit Russia's earnings from oil sales, affecting the supply of Russian natural gas to Europe. The gas pipeline transporting gas ceased operations, sparking concerns of a potential blackout. This is where green hydrogen gained significance. People realized the need for a more reliable and clean energy source, and green hydrogen fit the bill perfectly. A study even predicted that in the future, green hydrogen could become the world's primary energy source, surpassing oil. Imagine world leaders discussing how to solve a significant problem. Russia was causing issues with gas supply, which was impacting the European Union. Gas is crucial for cooking and running operations like factories. 
However, Russia was making this difficult, and gas prices were rising, detrimental to the economy. Therefore, the solution was to turn to a cheaper and sustainable alternative. But here's the catch, producing green hydrogen is costlier than other energy acquisition methods. However, with natural gas and other products becoming pricier due to Russia-related problems, investing in green hydrogen began to make sense. This prompted more countries to invest in green hydrogen projects. The United States, Chile, and Australia are among those countries. Australia, for instance, is undertaking a massive project. They're constructing a hydrogen electrolyzer that promises to provide 10 times more energy than any other, generating 250 megawatts and having the capacity to power a 200 megawatts plant. This project will yield a substantial amount of clean energy, with the Australian government contributing a significant sum to make it happen. There are other projects across the country too, further enhancing green hydrogen production. The government of South Australia is investing $593 million in the project. The company responsible for executing the project is the Office of Hydrogen Power South Australia, led by none other than Sam Crafter, the creator of Tesla's world record battery. To join this race, the European Union has a plan to invest around $430 billion in green hydrogen projects by 2030. The Netherlands is one of the countries that has already announced a project. They're building a plant in the northern part of the country, supported by energy company Shell. The goal is to produce 10 gigawatts of electricity using electrolysis. This electricity will supply both the Netherlands and Germany. Spain is also making significant strides in this movement. They invested 150 million euros to build the Portolano plant which has become Europe's largest green hydrogen plant for industrial production. It was inaugurated in May 2022. Despite these advancements, the European Union faces a challenge in green hydrogen production. Clean energy is necessary to produce green hydrogen, meaning the energy source needs to come from renewables like wind, solar, and other sustainable sources. Countries with favorable sun and wind conditions have an advantage in this regard. However, countries lacking such conditions need to invest where they can. And this is where Brazil comes in. Brazil already invests heavily in renewable energy sources. Over 83% of the country's energy comes from renewables, and there are numerous solar and wind power plants spread throughout the territory capable of generating up to 1.3 million megawatts. In March of this year, a significant economic meeting took place between Brazil and Germany. The German Minister of Economic Affairs and Climate Action, Robert Habeck, visited Brazil to strengthen the relationship between the two countries regarding investment in green hydrogen production. Germany is collaborating with the German Federation of Industrial Research Associations and Sinai to invest 21 million Brazilian rails in research and technological development projects for green hydrogen production in Brazil. Additionally, Germany is also investing in expanding the green hydrogen plant in the Brazilian state of Bahia, which will become the country's first industrial-scale plant. This plant will be capable of producing 10,000 tons of green hydrogen and 60,000 tons of green ammonia per year in its first operational year. The investment aims to quadruple the plant's production capacity by 2025, making it the world's largest green hydrogen plant. The German company ThyssenKrupp will provide electrolyzers, essential components for green hydrogen production. Furthermore, they will also contribute technology to increase the plant's energy production from renewable sources. The Brazilian Northeast region is set to receive more investments from international companies due to its strategic location for maritime routes to Europe, as well as its abundant solar and wind resources. With this support, Brazil has the potential to lead the global export of green hydrogen. It is expected that the country could profit around $100 billion annually from such hydrogen exports. In the past, Brazil faced challenges in promoting green hydrogen development due to a lack of financial incentives and political support. However, with recent investments and initiatives, 
the country is beginning to position itself as a leader in green hydrogen production and export. The question now is whether Brazil will seize this opportunity and become a protagonist in green hydrogen production and export. Thank you for watching until the end, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like, it greatly helps us. Until the next video.